Hello, guys. I didn't see you there. Oh. You're going to see something special, guys. All the world is made of stories, and all those stories are right here in the Book of Life. Yep, I am going to be reviewing the Book of Life today. So yeah, so here's my review of the Book of Life. So yeah, cue the intro. Studios fan John 21 here and today guess what guys before I start this movie review I am going to be reviewing this movie leading up to mind the free which is going to be coming out on Netflix um um next Friday which I am going to be reviewing right now and this is a part of my continuation for Halloween month so yeah so today I'm not going to start this review right now so so yeah so today I'm going to be reviewing the book of life came in the year of 2014 so yeah so I'm going to read this plot on the internet, so yeah. So basically what the plot's about, in a Mexican town called Old San Angel, Malolo and Maria and Joaquin have been best friends since childhood. Even though their lives have been taken on different paths, Maria has been, has sent to Europe. Um, Joaquin has sent to um, Marchery, which... Sorry, I mispronounced that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but and Maloa has been settled be to become a bullfighter. But one thing remains the the same: Manolo and Joaquin are both want to marry the um, Maria. Little does they know that battle battling husband and wife deals have been a higher stakes region. On their love triangle outcome. So that's basically what the plot about. So yeah. So yeah guys. What do I think of this movie? Um, before I um, um, tell me my thoughts. Um, back in um, um, May of 2014. When I first saw the trailer for this movie. I was like yeah it doesn't look that good. But. but <laughs> yeah but. Um, but. And I even saw this trailer um, before um, um, when I saw How to Train Dragon 2 back in um, 2014 as well in June. And my uh, mom and my sister and my brother are, were honestly not excited for it. But also, um, yeah, and unfortunately I didn't get to see this movie in theaters, but I got to watch that movie online. And even though it did get um, pretty solid reviews from the critics, but yeah. But so yeah, guys, what do I think of this movie? Honestly, this movie honestly really surprised me. Like, I thought this was a really good film. This was a great film. Even though I do have some issues with this movie, which I'm not going to talk about. So, yeah. But we'll get into the animation later. But, honestly, um, this movie is also directed by Courier Cochires, who also who's going to be directing um, that Netflix series called Mind the Free, which is going to be coming out um, next Friday on October 22nd, which I am going to be doing that on October 26th. So, yeah. Excuse me, guys, I just burps it out. But let's um talk about uh the voice acting in this movie, which I definitely have the voice acting in this movie with um Joey Saldana, um, um Diego Luna, and even Chain and Tatum in this movie were actually really great. Like, um, yeah, and I definitely thought the rest of the voice acting in this movie was definitely great, and also um. Yeah, and I definitely thought that the songs in it were actually pretty good as well. But, yeah, and even, um, yeah, and also let's talk about the the music and the score in this movie. Which is, um, composed, the music is actually composed by, um, Gariso Grimson, which, sorry, I mispronounced that, but, yeah, I thought he did a pretty good, um, um, doing the, the, the um, the um, score in this movie, even though, um, uh, yeah, but even though, um, um, this and Coco are both set in Mexico, um, this is more of a love story, but Coco is more of a family story, even though I prefer Coco better, so yeah, but let's go back on to, um, the Book of Life, but now 
let's talk about the animation in this movie. The animation in this movie is honestly really creative. Like, honestly, I definitely love the way how it looks, how unique it looks. Like, honestly, I love how the, the character designs in this movie are um, wooden figures, which is honestly pretty cool, honestly. But honestly, yeah, and I definitely like how the, what the characters designs look. They look very unique, and yeah, and also this movie's also very colorful as well, like, yeah, and honestly, yeah, and I, and also, this movie's also really fun to look at, like, yeah, and also, um, yeah, and I can't wait to, wait to see, um, Koei Kochira's does, let's see, um, if, um, Mind the Freak can top this, so, yeah, so, yeah, if you haven't seen this movie, guys, where have you been, I highly recommend it, so, yeah, so, I'm gonna give the Book of Life a uh, 9 out of 10. Great movie. So, yeah, guys, what do you think of my movie review on the Book of Life? So, yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and make sure to like this video. So, yeah, so stay tuned for my movie review on Monster House coming next Friday on October 22nd, and my movie and my TV show review on My and the Free which is going to be coming out on October 26th, and my re-review of Hocus Pocus, which is my last Halloween month for this year, on October 29th. So stay tuned for those coming this October. So yeah, so I'll see you guys later, and bye. <laughs>